Hi guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. I actually finished off my week in my life vlog about an hour ago. I showered and now I feel absolutely incredible. I've just been working in my office pretty much all day. It's Friday. I'm drinking some coffee now, my afternoon coffee. This weekend, I really want to catch up on shows because as you guys know, all I've been doing is reading. Update on my Kindle Fire or Kindle Oasis. Best thing ever. I need to finish Nashville. I have 10 episodes left and I just have been putting it off because I don't want to finish it. It's been ridiculous. And then I also want to start Normal People. I really want to watch the Dolly Parton, like is it Netflix or Hulu show? I don't know. You guys know I love Dolly. So that is kind of the agenda for this weekend. It's Mother's Day. I think I might be in charge of cooking. Obviously gonna go on the rooftop, even though I have a really bad sunburn. We have some packages to unbox. We got a lot going on this weekend. So it's gonna be a good vlog. Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to share something with you guys. As you know, I am a mother to Coconut, my really cute, perfect, sweet angel dog. She looks like this, but is white. She's in like every single video of mine. So anyways, we've been trying out Smarty Paws, so these are the treats. So thank you to Smarty Paws for sponsoring this video. I will have this stuff linked down below on Target.com, but if you guys go into your local Target, it's really easily found just in the little pet section. Okay, I wanted to take you guys downstairs to show you guys Coco with the treats because she is so freaking cute. Look at her, she's Coco. Oh, she knows, she's coming around. So, they're super cute. Coco also randomly, like this is the texture of treats she just absolutely loves. Okay, ready? Sit. Good girl, down. Good girl, there you go. So again, like I said, these are available at Target.com and in the pet aisle of your favorite Target. Just a smarter breed of health supplement, high quality ingredients, allergy free nutrients for a healthy and happy life. It's also customized per stage, which is really helpful. Also guys, it supports hip, joint, gut, immune, allergy, skin, urinary tract, and thyroid health all in one easy serving. It's designed by vets. It's also made with premium ingredients. It's free of and made in the USA with globally sourced ingredients. I'm sure so many of you guys have had Smarty Pants with the women's formula before. When I told my mom I was working with Smarty Paws, she's like, wait a second, is that Smarty Pants? So again, it's from the makers of Smarty Pants, which is awesome. Look at Coco. She's just waiting for more. Coming back for more as always. All right, Coco, you ready? Sit. Good girl. Find it. Ooh, there you go. Again, if you guys are interested, you guys can find it online at Target.com or in the pet aisle of your favorite Target. I'll have it linked down below. In the past probably like month or so, I've become very, very intentional with what I let Coco eat and put into her body depending on like the brands and the food and like nutrients and all that stuff. So I love Smarty Paws because as a parent, I feel very, very like safe using it and I know that it's good for her and that she's getting things that she needs. So if you guys wanna check out Smarty Paws, I will have a link down below on target.com or you guys can go to your local Target and shop it in the pet aisle. But it is amazing, 10 out of 10 recommend. Also, so many of you guys always, you guys are always sending me DMs of you and your dogs watching the vlogs. So this is for them. Um, so freaking cute. Anyways, thank you to Smarty Paws for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. We're gonna go on with the diet, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. I think you guys are really gonna like it and it'll be linked down below. I'm really pumped because there's a new The Read Heads podcast, which is my favorite book club podcast. So it's with Jackie from The Morning Toast and then her other sister and then two friends. It's so good. I actually didn't like the book in five years, but I still love listening to the podcast. Guys, I just can't stop talking about books and vlogs. It's embarrassing, but I'm gonna finish listening to this. So I really, really want this print for my office, but it doesn't come big enough. Like, large 28 inch by 20, like, I just don't feel like that is big enough. I would love it for behind my desk. Just really big in my office, but it's just not big enough, and I love Dolly, so I just want it for my house, I think, in general. I just love her. Like, absolutely love her. It makes me so sad, but maybe I can find it. I don't know if I really want a canvas print though. I want it framed, so I'm gonna try to figure this out. I'm editing a Cooking with Kinsey video. If you guys didn't know, I started doing cooking videos on my Instagram, just at Kinsey Elizabeth, so go check it out. All right guys, my brother hasn't left in five days, but I finally got my stuff in from CB2. I'll have it all linked down below. I bought all of this, I believe, on sale. It's really hard to find the perfect fruit bowl, and I feel like I've done it. I love this. I don't want the wiry ones. I was just very particular in what I wanted. So I picked up this one. This, I don't know how much I love this yet, but I think I will end up loving it. Um, 
This is the white pedestal bowl. Um, I'm gonna have all this linked down below, so it doesn't matter. But I just needed something for like spatulas and all that stuff. So that's good. And then I got one set for myself and one set for my mom. But these are just little champagne flutes and they were on sale for a really good price. So I thought they'd be really cute to have for like on the rooftop this summer. Like I think everything is. So very exciting stuff, guys. All right, so I think I just want to move this Amazon Echo, like something completely different, but I just moved it there for now. I don't love this setup yet. It's all going to be really different once also I have my actual pantry set up, which won't be till the end of the month. But here is this, which already makes my life easier. A lot of my stuff is in the dishwasher right now. And then my fruit bowl, which I just love. Like, it's so beautiful, guys. I'm literally obsessed with it. So I'll have all these linked down below. It is somehow already almost four. Quarantine days go by so freaking fast. I mean, we're not even quarantined technically anymore. I'm, you know, we've been through this. Texas lifted the stay at home thing. Texas lifted stay at home, but as we know, I just feel like I have to preface this in every single vlog. Um, for the most part, I'm staying at home. I am gonna have to run to like Home Depot or something to get my grandmother her Mother's Day present, but obviously I'm gonna wear a mask, gloves, all that stuff and be like really in and out. I'm also gonna see, maybe I can order ahead there. I'm not really sure. I'm just really feeling a lazy afternoon. I got everything done on my to-do list and I, look at this guys, another Sprite. This is like my fourth Sprite of quarantine. Normally I don't even like soda. We're going crazy and smart sweets. So my quarantine thing. Um, also update on the Kindle Oasis. Best buy ever. I'm so happy. At first I was worried I wasn't gonna like the small screen, but I got used to it within like a day and I'm just obsessed with it. It is the best thing. It's so easy to read outside. On my iPad, I cannot read outside at all. And this, it's perfect. Reading at night, I love the settings. I love the adjustments, everything. I'll have it linked down below. If you guys are an avid reader, I definitely recommend the Kindle Oasis, especially the Oasis because what I love so much about this is the display. And yes, this one's a little bit more expensive, but I read every single day. So it's definitely worth spending a little bit more money to get the better display because that's what I wanted anyways. So, anyway, so we're going to have a nice little content afternoon. I might throw on something on my iPad. I'm going to work on, like, that at least much Instagram, do a little bit of editing, and then might do some writing and hopefully start a new show. The TV in my room somehow broke. Like, couldn't tell you how that happened. It's been broken for, like, a month, but it hasn't really bothered me because all I've been doing is reading. I literally don't even turn it on ever. But I decided I really need to replace it because, you know, my little brother is here all the time and uses my TV downstairs until I finish the den. So I'm just going to have like a laptop cozy afternoon. I'm not cooking dinner because I have leftovers. I'll take you guys along. We're just chilling for the weekend. So as we know, I have really been motivated to consume some content this weekend. Tried watching a bunch of shows, didn't like any of them. I'm not loving the book that I'm reading right now. I think I will because everyone has been telling me it's so good, but I need to like do some research because I'm a little bit confused. And my misguided package got delivered to the wrong person for some reason. I don't know why the mailmen have a, like a really hard time finding my place. Like there's always problems with delivery and like I always have the wrong address, the right address. And like everyone around here says this happens all the time. So it's like really annoying, but Anyways, my hair needs to get done so bad. Like, my roots are rough. Um, so hopefully my sister can do it soon because she's a hairstylist. Anyways, I just sent, like, 30 emails probably, and I've just been doing some stuff, but consuming content is not going too well for me right now. All right, guys, I'm currently ordering some cookbooks on Amazon. I saw Chrissy Teigen tweeting all the drama and stuff with this girl, actually. And then I went and I was like, oh, you know what? I actually want both of their cookbooks. Um, and then this one looks really good as well. So I just figured it was time for me to invest in some cookbooks because I just feel like that's so fun. And then also, I think I'm going to go ahead and buy this projector just because I've heard really good things about it um, to have ready for my den. So I'm excited for that. I just checked out and then I saw this one and that looks so cute too, guys. I just really have enjoyed looking at cookbooks lately. Guys, I am literally a housewife. At Good morning, point. everyone. It is Saturday morning. I am wearing clothes to work out in. Didn't work out yesterday, which I was supposed to. Making some cold brew. Update on the fruit bowl. Just so pleased. Like... Wow, love this. Good morning, I know it's Saturday and I normally really try to not work on the weekends, but 
one, quarantine is just a little bit weird, and then two, um, these girls asked me to go on their podcast. I decided I'm gonna do it, but I honestly, I totally forgot into my Google Calendar ring, and I only have 15 minutes to, like, Devo really quickly. So, I need to do that, and then I'm gonna answer this call at 10 for about an hour. My favorite yogurt and blueberries. I seriously need to stop eating as bad as I've been doing. Honestly, it's mainly, like, the snacking. Like, dinner, yeah, my pastas have been, like, a little bit heavy, but... Yeah, I need to go back to like cooking really healthy food and stuff because I'm definitely noticing energy levels down and my abs are going away. So that can happen. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna read, comment down below, healthy recipes or healthy like food bloggers to follow because that's really what I need to be doing. Also, I just haven't been working out as intense as I normally work out. So that is what I'm the most excited for is when I can, like in quarantine is literally just for Fitness classes, I really like working out from home, not gonna lie, but I definitely just get a better workout in with fitness classes just because I feel like they're tougher and it pushes me more. So, yeah. So, I just recorded a podcast with two girls who, who literally started a podcast together because they met in the Facebook group, which is the coolest thing ever. So, I was always, I'll share that whenever it comes out on my Instagram story. But, yeah, I'm really excited. It's only 11. I think I'm gonna go on a walk which will be nice. I've been having a lot of problems with my AirPods. What's new, guys? Guys, I know half of this vlog has been me shopping online, but for some reason, my Summer Fridays lip butter balm is just has disappeared, and I can't survive without it. So I ordered another one. I ordered my favorite glow screen sunscreen just to have another one because, I mean, I wear it. It's my sunscreen I wear every day, and I'm afraid I'm going to run out. And then I got the Way Detox Shampoo. I really always i've said this in vlogs but i always use detox shampoos like once a week because i have really bad product buildup my hair just is just it's rough so i picked that up but these are the three things i got today i'm really excited to try this out this is these two are like my biggest holy grail products at the moment though like if you buy anything i tell you to buy it's these two things all right guys here again is my fitness plan it finally loaded um, I missed yesterday, so I think I'm gonna do this, and then instead of having mobility on Sunday, I'm gonna do Saturdays. So, this is what I'm doing today. I'm gonna listen to the Ed Milet Show with Gary V. Okay, so I worked out, I made smoothies as you guys saw, I just got ready for the day. It is now 1.20 p.m. Um, my morning routine has been long, but the episode this morning that I recorded was super cute. Um, Cody is still here. He's never leaving. Cody, did you eat the last of the leftovers? What? The bolognese. Did you eat them last night? I think I had like half of it. I could have sworn I had like half of it. Which means he ate all of it, so. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna make my pasta salad. And then for dinner tonight, I'm making bolognese again. Um, because I need to finish it. So I have my pasta salad. Guys, the fan literally propellers. Today, I'm gonna make a menu and figure out new recipes. Like I'm making my menu for the week and then I'm gonna grocery shop um, and have them delivered maybe tomorrow. So I can make my list and I'm gonna find new recipes. But I really just am so obsessed with this bolognese right now that I just like need to make it because it's so freaking good. So I'm gonna make that for dinner. Also because I need to use the meat anyways. This pasta salad that I made, um, I don't know why I have the dog's water bowls right there. Anyways, um, I uploaded an IGTV on how I made it, so that's already up. And the bolognese one, um, it might be up by now or it's about to be posted if you guys haven't followed me on Instagram. Be sure to follow me. When I'm in my office, I just filmed a little IGTV Q&A for the I Love You So Much Instagram on kind of starting a podcast. So if any of you guys are interested in that, um, and starting a podcast and all the details and stuff, it's just on our Instagram page. But I'm going to eat some lunch. Alright guys, it is later. I just made my menu for the week because I feel like I am spending so much money on groceries. Because I'm cooking a lot and just, I don't know. I don't want to waste, actually, also because my brother eats all my food. But I don't want to waste up and overspend. So I'm going to try out just making a menu each week. Also, this way I can try new recipes and stuff. But I have what I'm having for breakfast, a snack lunch and dinner so you guys will see but i'm using recipes from what the health and the modern proper 
Um, I love the Modern Proverb for dinner because there's like savory stuff and then I love what the hell for like everything else. So this is the breakfast I'll be making and then I have the ingredients. For lunch, I'm gonna have a kale salad. Dinner number one, tortellini soup. Oh my gosh, Cooper, every time he walks, he's so loud. Coop, you gotta stop. Tortellini soup with Italian sausage and kale. And then tortilla soup, which is just the five ingredient one. Obviously, I'm gonna be posting, oh, that's just for Mother's Day tomorrow. My brother drew that. Um, I'm gonna be posting this obviously all over my Instagram. Most of the cooking stuff is actually there, but I'm going to order my groceries and then I'm also gonna make bolognese tonight and then make my dish for Mother's Day tomorrow. All right guys, I've been editing some videos, but I'm so excited because two of my cookbooks already came in, which I'm very pumped for. And my whisk that I just ordered, like it happened so quickly. These are the two cookbooks that I got. I also got Chrissy Teigen's. Um, this one is like amazing. This one is supposed to be really good for cooking for groups of people, which I do obviously like a lot. I mean, out of quarantine. So love that. And then also this simple, beautiful food. I thought that this would be so fun. So I'm just so excited, guys. Like this is really just absolutely incredible. I love the branding on this. Then I just got some whisk because for some reason I didn't have them. Also for Mother's Day, my mom's Mother's Day gifts came in just in time. I ordered these like a week and a half ago. So thank God they came in today. Um, this is what she asked for. The Summer Fridays Jet Lag Mask, Summer Fridays CC Me Serum, and then the lip balm, which is the best one ever. I actually ordered another lip balm today, as you know, because mine went missing. So great gift. We have the jazz playlist going. Feeling so good in here. The candles are lit. I'm about to start cooking. Coco and I are doing tricks this morning. Pause. Down. What are you making? <gasps> good girl. Okay, currently the sauce is simmering. I'm about to put the pasta in, but that's pretty much almost done-ish. Um, anyways, Alyssa is here. It's a family ordeal. I literally only have family here because all my family lives within five minutes of me. Actually, not all of them, but you know. Anyways, this is what I picked up. So here's my grocery haul. I got some rotisserie chicken. That's for the tortilla soup. Bananas, um, mozzarella balls, and these sugar plum tomatoes for something I'm making for Mother's Day. I got some chicken broth, some lime juice, dairy-free yogurt. Coco? Then raspberries, so they're out of strawberries. I got a bunch of stuff that I just needed for the other recipes. Granola for my morning yogurt, balsamic vinegar, almond butter, cucumbers, sweet potatoes, avocado, onion, Italian sausage for a meal, and then a bunch of kale. So that is what I got today. They were out of a few things I really needed, but I'm gonna survive. For Mother's Day, so my mom used to always make this. It's like legit the best thing ever. But there's no fresh basil anywhere in Dallas, I swear, guys. Um, also, they gave me balsamic vinegar, which is not what they're supposed to do, but this is a balsamic glaze, so I hope that this works out. This is what I'm gonna make. All right, guys, well, first off, we finished the pasta, but none of us are hungry, because it's only 6 p.m., so we're gonna eat later. But I finished my Mother's Day concoction. What is this called? It's cucumber salad or yeah, something cucumber. like that. Cucumber salad, sure, it's a type of pasta salad. So freaking good. My mom always makes this, and so I was in charge for Mother's Day, and I'm feeling great about it. It's better if you just let it refrigerate overnight, so I'm gonna do that and then bring it tomorrow. We're out on the rooftop. The umbrella is just sitting here because it's been storming late at night, so I don't want it to like fly off and total the car. It's way too bright. Guys, it's only 6.39. It genuinely feels like 9 p.m., but it is way too bright out. Anyways. All right, guys, we've been on the rooftop for a while. Alyssa and I have start decided that we're gonna become runners. Um, it's our new thing. We're not really quite runners. It's not in our blood, really if you not. will. She's just like, jo we're jogging, to be clear. <laughs> so uh, we've been looking at running plans because we're gonna start running Monday, Wednesday, Friday. It's gonna be our new thing. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great at seven, between the hours of seven and 7.30 a.m. Very strict. Very strict. So we will see how this goes. Okay, I downloaded the Couch to 5K app and it built us a plan, which is awesome. So this is what we will be doing. We're really excited about our new adventure. Hi guys, happy Sunday. So today is Mother's Day. I cannot decide on my outfit. Um, I'm just wearing this bodysuit from Misguided. You can definitely see my bra through it, but we're just gonna forget about it. Jeans and then some cute little like thong sandal things. Am I trying to decide? 
So I'm going to my mother's. Oh my gosh, I just realized that I haven't wrapped her gift. My cousin is picking me up in like 20 minutes. So I really need to be ready. I have to go pick up another gift for my grandmother. And then we're going over there today. I also need to bring some laundry. I have a lot of stuff that I need to bring. I just like really don't love my outfit today, but I think it is what it is, you know? Okay, wow. Well, I put actual Bye Bye foundation on, which I think I'm going to regret just because that is a lot. It's really weird when you haven't worn makeup in so long and then you actually put it on. This morning, I did a nice long Devo up on the rooftop. It was so nice out and I really enjoyed it. I wish I had better um, freaking dresses. Okay, I need a better hairspray. So I use the Dyson Airwrap and I curled my hair a little bit, but then my hair, like it just doesn't stay very well, honestly. And my hair spray is like too much. So now it's just like, I don't know. I've got to like perfect it. And I just don't feel like I have perfected it. But like once it's like immediately done, it's like the most beautiful thing ever. So I just need to get better hairspray because the hairspray I'm using is nice, but it's like, it's way too stiff. I genuinely think I'm probably going to change my entire outfit. Still loving all of my Charlotte Tilbury products. This is like truly my ride or die currently. It feels so weird wearing this much makeup. All these dresses that I want, but like they're just not here. I keep thinking back to like my old dresses and my house in LA. And I'm like, oh yeah, that would have been great for today. Or like even just like a simple black dress. Like I legit have nothing. So that's truly, truly tragic. Okay, last thing, mascara. And then I need to spray with some Morphe setting powder and then I'm good, but I'm definitely not wearing this outfit because I don't love it. Guys, I really need a good like baking powder. What do you think is the best one? Um, and I need a really big brush for bronzer as well. So I need those two things stat. Also, what do you use to apply your foundation? Answer all three of the questions down below in the comments, please. I'm like MLA format. <laughs> I have like very minimal time left. So I have this Tarte stay. setting spray. It smells so good. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. All right, I changed into these pants. Cooper's here. I was wearing that cute bodysuit and it was actually really cool and all nude. But I just, it was, I was already hot in my house. So there's no way I was able to wear it. So I just put on a white crop top these pants are revolved these shoes are misguided they're really inexpensive and super trendy for summer so i'll have them linked down below um and then just like a white crop top but i really just need a whole new wardrobe because i'm so over literally everything i own that this week i'm gonna go through my closet and really get some things in order oh, my gosh. oh thank you oh we have one more yeah. so hungry I can, i'm about to an island go some Oh. oh, thank you. So thank much. you so much. Have a good day. You too. Wow. Okay. Wow. Thank God. That's what we needed. Can I put this in there? Um. Okay. Yeah. So, hello everyone. Um, Alyssa and I have made it to McKinney. We have tried to call everyone in our family pretty much. No one answers us ever. Um, we've gone over our running plans for tomorrow, which is exciting. We went to Starbucks. Now we're still going to be the first ones there. Yep. We're the only on-time people in our family. Out of everyone. Out of everyone. That's really, we're the firstborn daughters, so like, maybe that has something to do with it. I think it does. It definitely does. But anyways, we got teas, food. I'm so hungry, I could like faint. I'm like shaking. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, I'm so happy because I cleaned my house before I left today. Update, after seven days, my little brother is now no longer here. So I no longer have my second roommate, but I made a big order on Aerie about two weeks ago and the first thing finally arrived, I thought all of it was supposed to be here by now, but like obviously shipping just taking a little longer. Um, I got this really large, like XL, I guess, really big white top that's just like super cute. I want to wear this when I'm super tan with like jean shorts kind of messed up and like Nikes. So that is my vision in my vibe or my white docks that I ordered a few days ago. I've been going crazy online shopping this weekend, especially you guys. Um, so I thought this was super cute. I'll link it down below. I got a bunch of other stuff too. So in my next vlog, hopefully over the next week, I'll be able to show you guys more stuff. But I'm back for Mother's Day. It was really fun. We just hung out at my mom's house. But I want to go take off my makeup, put sweats on, and finish reading my book or something because I'm just like exhausted. Um, update, I finished reading 
when we believed in mermaids that one was pretty good i do all of these book reviews and kind of stuff on my instagram story highlight and now i'm reading i think it's like my therapist and her therapist or something like that i started last night but hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys in my next vlog